Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and just doing a vlog. Uh, basically, want to talk about some stuff, some uh, movie news, and uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, last night's season finale episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, last night's season finale episode I thought was good. Uh, I liked it, and saw so read a lot of people were disappointed in it, but. I said I thought it was good and season three I thought it was a good season uh, you got to meet a lot of new characters new recruiting characters um, or recurring characters uh, you got to meet uh, the governor uh, you got to meet Milton uh, Tyrese um, but I thought it was a good season all in all uh, I'm a huge fan of this show. Uh, I haven't read the comics though, but you know I just love the show. And uh, basically, what last night's episode was uh, opens up. Uh, this is spoilers though. If you, if you haven't watched it, uh, just skip right over. You know to the to the video. I'm gonna post where to. Uh, you know, I'm post in the annotation where to skip if you haven't seen. Uh, the episode because this is all spoilers. Uh, basically, the show opens up uh, the governor stabbing Milton, and Andrea still tied up from uh, I think the uh, the prey episode, and uh, you know the governor ends up you know ends up you know going with his army to. Uh, the prison to take out uh, the group, you know, Rick's group, and they, Rick's group, uh, you know, they stage an ambush and repels the attack on the governor's army, and you know, the Woodbury army, you know, the governor's army, they they want to return to Woodbury and leave, you know, Rick's group alone, and so the governor ends up taking, you know, shooting all of them, and. You know, Rick, Daryl, and Michonne go to uh, Woodbury, and they see Tyrese and you know Sasha, uh, which they, you know, were guarding Woodbury when the governor and his army went to go to the prison. Uh, they find they find Andrea, um, and uh, they find out that uh, you know she was bitten by uh, Milton. Uh, who eventually was turned into a walker after, you know, being stabbed by the governor. And, uh, you know, Andrea, you know, d didn't want Rick or, you know, any of them shooting her, but she decided to do it herself. And Michonne was by her side. And, you know, they Rick and the group at the end returned to the prison uh, along with... Uh, the residents of Woodbury, uh, and they want to stay, you know, to stay behind. And I think, and that's like the, you know, the whole episode of it. But uh, I think for what season four is going to set us up with is, you know, Rick and the group probably telling them about, you know, the governor still at large, and you know, they the the uh, Woodbury residents are probably going to stay. Uh, in the prison and join all of them will be joining uh, Rick's group probably and you know the war is still gonna start you know the war is still gonna happen in a uh, season four probably but you know all in all I thought it was I thought it was a good episode uh, you know I liked it and I liked a lot of episodes this season um, really like the episode where Michonne was fighting the governor and she took that piece of glass and put it in his eye and you know now he wears and he, you know now he wears the uh, eye patch uh, love that fight scene in the episode I think that was in episode 8 uh, also like the clear episode where we got to see Morgan again uh, if you don't know who Morgan is Morgan is uh, the guy who saved Rick uh, when you know Rick was you know got out of the hospital and you know saw all those 
dead bodies and you know the walkers walking around the streets in the uh the first episode um but in that episode uh he tells us you know morgan tells us or tells rick also um you know what happened to his wife and you know what happened to his son uh because his son uh was in the uh the first episode and you know he morgan's gone all crazy and he's writing stuff and he wrote stuff on the wall and he kept on writing on writing clear clear and uh rick uh manages to talk some sense to him and let him come back to the prison with him but morgan ends up you know declining to go uh and that was a good episode um also uh last week's episode uh called this sore for a lot this sore for life uh no this sorrowful life i'm sorry um where you know daryl no not daryl uh meryl is uh killed by the governor and ends up turning into a walker and daryl happened to uh you now has to kill his brother you know because you know meryl was a you know a walker which uh which I thought was a uh, you know good ending to that episode. Uh, very sad. Also, I uh, happened to see uh, Meryl go. Uh, but all in all, this season I thought was good. There was only one episode that I didn't like. Uh, was uh, called Arrow on the Doorstep, uh, which is where Rick and the Governor meet face to face to, you know, to make a deal. Which that episode, in my opinion, was boring. It really was. There was not. There was nothing that happened. Now, the only good things that I thought were pretty good was when uh, they were killing the Walkers, where uh, Daryl and um, I think it was Michonne killing the Walkers, and one of them threw a knife into the Walker. That was good. But uh, also the other good thing about that episode was when Rick was like, uh, we're going to war. That was the only good parts of that episode. Uh, but all in all, it was a good season, and I liked it. I can't wait for season four, which is feels a long, long time. But you gotta wait all the way to the fall. Uh, but, you know, I thought, like I said, I thought it was a good season. And can we for season four in the fall? So, yeah, so anyways, uh, let's see what's in the movie news. Uh, a good day to die hard gets a June Blu-ray and DVD release. Uh, it's coming out June fourth, uh, which I enjoyed. A good day to die hard. Uh, I thought it was be I thought it was better than uh, Live Free or Die Hard, and I did a review on it. So. Uh, a lot of WonderCon stuff. Uh, let me see. Just looking through the, uh, just looking through this, see uh, anything interesting. Uh, I saw the, uh, trailer, the new, the second trailer to World War Z. Uh, thought it was good. Uh, can't wait for the movie. And uh, hopefully it will do well when it comes out. Uh, but can't wait for World War Z. Uh, I never read the book. But I heard good things about the book. Uh, some old news. Uh, Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo to return in Vacation Reboot. And this is not going to be focused on the... Uh, Cherry Chase and Beverly D'Angelo. This is actually going to be focused on their son, uh, on their son Rusty, uh, from what I heard. And this sounds like it's gonna. This reboot sounds like it's gonna suck. Uh, I have no hope for it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, here. This is what it says. Misadventures of this reboot will center on Clark's son Rusty who is all grown up with a dysfunctional family of his own to torment on a road trip. One stop of which will be visiting with his hilarious 
often imperil parents. Cherry Chase and Beverly D'Angelo's roles will likely be more in the cameo range, but I expect them to be a standout. <laughs> uh, I have no hope for this. I have no hope. Uh, if they got, if they would get Anthony Michael Hall from uh, the first Vacation movie, uh, that would be good. Uh, but anyways, I have no, like I said, I have no hope for that. Uh, here's a lot. Here's another old news. Uh, can't believe they're doing this. They're making a Lego movie. Really? A Lego movie? Wow. wow. What is it? What's it gonna be? Them building Legos? They knock it down? Oh God! It's the most stupidest, dumbest idea for them. You know, to do a Lego movie. It's fucking stupid. Let's see. I like the uh, Iron Man 3, uh, they revealed the Gemini armor, which looks awesome. Uh, can't wait for Iron Man 3 to come out next month. And you know, probably I'll do a movie review of the first and the second movie before uh, the third one comes out. Maybe. Uh, uh, maybe I'll see the... I don't know, maybe I'll get a chance to see the third movie, but who knows. Uh, what else? Uh, they're doing a uh, Prometheus two. Uh, the uh, they said there was uh there's a problem on getting the uh the Prometheus sequel. If, it, if the problems end up being solved, uh, I, I'm happy that there will be a Prometheus sequel because I I enjoyed the uh, I enjoyed Prometheus. Uh, it was not it was not great though, but uh, there's talks about uh, rumors going around that the Amazing Spider-Man two. Uh, they're dropping hints about Venom, Green Goblin, and Gwen's fate. Uh, so maybe there will be two villains in the Amazing in the Amazing Spider-Man sequel. And they were filming that, and they were filming it in my neighborhood, which I didn't, which I didn't even know. Uh, the, like the day that I knew, they posted it on the website, and I was like, "Ah, oh, damn!" They were filming in the neighborhood because uh, I will, I really would love to see them filming. You know, filming the movie in the neighborhood. And, you know, seeing all the people, uh, you know, watch. Uh, I did see. I did see the trailer to uh, Kick Ass Two. Uh, really, really liked it. Uh, can't wait for it to come out. And uh, Jim Carrey uh, was funny in the in the trailer. I don't know, in my opinion, he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger a little bit, his character in Kick-Ass 2. I don't, I don't know, it, it reminded me a little bit of it. Uh, I know nobody will agree with me on it, but uh, that's how the way I saw it. <laughs> uh, did see the uh, trailer to Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. Uh, not bad. I thought, it was, I thought it was a good trailer. Um, I like... I like uh, the first film, uh, Lightning Thief, uh, wasn't great though, but I liked it. Uh, a lot of people were disappointed in that movie, uh, fans who read the book, uh, saying that they got everything wrong, and uh, Chris Columbus directed that, uh, but they got a new director for uh, Sea of Monsters, but I can't wait till that movie comes out. Uh, like I said, maybe when maybe I'll see that movie and you know I'll review the first movie, uh, you know at that at that week when it comes out. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, the Grimm magazine finally came out. Uh, probably gonna have to buy it online because it's so hard to find in uh, comic book stores and newsstands. I was going around and around trying to find it. Uh, they didn't have it, and you know I'm a huge fan of Grimm right here. Uh, love the show. Uh, watch it every Friday night on NBC. And it's just a really awesome show. Um, you know, so I'm talking about right here, Grimm. Uh, probably gonna have to buy the magazine off of Amazon, and if I do, I'll make a video of it showing what the magazine looks like. Cause uh, if you're a fan, if you're a fan of uh, Grimm, uh, you know, if any of you watching my videos are a fan of that show, I'll probably do a video. Uh, if I ever get the magazine, so I can't wait to see what it looks like. I know there was they said something about behind the scenes stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I'll probably eventually buy it. Uh, I think they're gonna release one every uh, season. Like you know, they re they released it in the uh, this season. Then in the next release is gonna be in the summer and probably go from there you know probably every new magazine every season or months probably I don't know uh, but yeah so that's it for uh, this vlog uh, thank you all for watching and until the next video I'll see you all later